Hey guys, it's Lakin. Um, today I'm doing a kind of a get ready with me um, makeup tutorial on how to get this eye look. Um, I mainly use the Modern Renaissance palette, so if you have it, awesome. If you don't, I know there are other afford affordable options. I'm pretty sure Wet n Wild has one out right now that's pretty much a dupe. Um, or if you have any of the colors that I'm using, um, just use what you have because you definitely don't have to go out and spend the $42 to get this palette to get the look. So if you want to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by going in with the Maybelline Master Prime. Dropping things already. Great start. So I'm just going to go right in here on my cheeks, underneath my eyes. Also, I like to put a little bit on my chin because my pores do tend to look a little larger right there. And then on my forehead. Alright, I'm going to be using um, the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation today. And I'm going to put that on my Eco Tool sponge that is extremely filthy. It's not for a good, good wash. And I'm just going to go in and cover my face. I had to cut my lights down. Um, for whatever reason, it was just like turning white. Um, so I will put this back up after I'm done with the foundation. Alright. So, <clears throat> the coverage is pretty good. I might add a little bit more. I do get foundation crazy because I really like being covered like I really want to get something that's like extremely full coverage if y'all know a foundation that's like super full coverage let me know um, because I really I really want to try it out see how I like it because I know a lot of full coverage foundations are really thick and I don't necessarily like a foundation that I can tell is on my skin. Um, that's why I really do enjoy this one because it's so lightweight. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go in with the Photo Focus uh, Wet n Wild Concealer. I have it in the shade Light Ivory. And I'm gonna go underneath my eyes, cover up my dark circles and designer bags. I'm also going to go up my nose to highlight it and my forehead a little bit. And then also on my chin because I do have some redness in there that I really dislike. So I'm going to go in with my sponge and just blend that in. Before I set that, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to contour my face. When I first started doing this, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of product. Um, I look crazy. And then I figured out how to work with it and blend it out really nicely, so I'm really enjoying it. Plus I think that I have a ginormous forehead, so I always, 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 always want to contour and make it look smaller. I'm just going to blend this out. y'all like using concealers as contours? I've always really like been looking into getting the Anastasia um, contour palette. I know she has the cream and then the powder. Um, let me know if y'all have used that and enjoyed it. My lighting sucks. <laughs> I bet it really looks like I'm like beating my face right now. <laughs> Literally. Okay. 
So now that I have all that blended in, I'm going to bake with the um, the Cody Airspun powder. I got this a long time ago and uh, I quit using it for a while because I quit baking because I noticed it has a little bit of flashback in pictures. So I don't know. I quit using it, but now I'm using it again. Love it. Oh, and to bake, I'm using the other Eco Tools sponge. These actually come together, um, but the first one I had of the big one, I lost. I have no idea what happened to it, so I was able to buy that one separately. But I still have the smaller one that came with it originally. So this is the one I used to bake. I like it because it has this edge right here gets underneath my eyes really nicely and then it also has this flat edge to go underneath my contour. Mm. Also, I also like to go in my forehead. my nose and my chin. What? I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush to just wipe that away, so. So I actually um, always go to my eyebrows after this step and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, one eyebrow, and I forgot to tell y'all, I am using the ColourPop Brow Boss. Um, the spoolie on mine broke off. I got this in my Ipsy a while back. I use that to shape the brow and fill most of it in, and then on the inner portion, I like it to be a little lighter, so I'm using the e.l.f. Little Pomade Powder Duo in light. There is one thing I hate about doing my makeup is doing my eyebrows. It is the most stressful thing ever. Hardest part about my makeup because nine times out of ten they don't match and it's just irritating. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder to wipe away the bake and set the rest of my face. to bronzer. I know I've already contoured with the concealer, but it's just not enough. So I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and Light Bronzer. And I'm going to use um, this Wet n Wild brush. It's the angled one. They don't put the names on their brushes. They only put it on the packaging and I don't have that anymore. So. this brush and get a little bit of that and contour my nose just a tad. Okay, I always go from bronzer to blush and for my blush I'm going to go into this wet n wild brush. It's kind of fluffy. Um, I do typically like using something a little um, denser and not as flexible but uh, I've been giving all these brushes a good try because I got them for Christmas, so. Going off. Oh. I'm going into the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. So next, 
sorry, not picking my nose, just itching. <laughs> so today, um, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I've had this pal palette for a while, and the other day I went to Ulta and I was trying to get the Sultry palette, and they were completely out and said that for whatever reason, they, for whatever reason, they aren't getting it in again. Uh, my phone definitely just ran out of space. Sorry about that. Like I said, going in with the Modern Renaissance. Um, I'm going to use a concealer as a primer because I don't have an eyeshadow primer right now. Um, so I'm going to use the ELF HD Lifting Concealer. I'd gotten this for my, for my face and it ended up being like... It's like uh, in the shade Fair and it was darker than my foundation. Only complaint. in with this eco tools brush um, came in like a set of five I think I'm not sure what it's called um, I'm just gonna use my elf um, powder to set the eyelid So I'm gonna first, yep, this brush. I'm gonna first go in with this Farah brush. I got it out of my Ipsy bag. It's super cute. It has this little gripping part on it. And this is the 35E. Um, I'm gonna go into Burnt Orange as my transition shade. I'm actually probably gonna blend it a little bit with this Golden Ochre color. I'm just gonna blend this into my crease. Then gonna go in with another, <laughs> yet another uh, brush I got on my Ipsy. Um, this I can't pronounce the name of it, so I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. But it is the L50 brush, and however you pronounce that brand, I'm gonna go into Realgar. Okay, and I'm gonna focus this um, deeper in the crease and not as high. I'm also going to go back to that Farrah brush and um, just blend with whatever's left on the brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this Mica Beauty Cosmetics brush. It is um, got a slight angle to it and I'm gonna go into red ochre and focus this on the outer edge. Okay, not sure where that ended. Um, so what I've done um, is cut my crease and gone in with the Steve Laurent um, loose powder and rose gold. I used it with the e.l.f. Um, makeup mist and set and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna do the other side. I have really crappy storage on my phone so this is why it's acting up. I really need to get a camera if I'm gonna do this and make things <laughs> go smoothly. Or delete all the pictures off my phone. I'm going to just spray my brush and just go ahead and pack it on the lid. It is having quite a bit of fallout. Alright, so I'm going to take um, that same fluffy brush I used to set my face earlier to um, get rid of the excess fallout. So now 
now that I got that pigment on my eyes, I'm just gonna go in and blend everything out. And I'm gonna be using Cypress Umber and Red Ochre together just to make sure I didn't lose that color on the edge. <laughs> And now I'm going to go in with this smaller Eco Tools brush and go into Real Guard and start at the middle of my eye and drag that outwards. I'm also going to use Cypress Umber on the outer edge. And because I'm all about blending, I'm gonna go in with this Eco Tools flat shader brush, which I normally use to put powder on my eyebrows. And I'm gonna go into burnt orange and just blend everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some highlight on. I'm gonna be using the Physicians for Mia Butter Highlighter in Rose Gold. And I'm going to use this um, Mint Pear Rounded Self Blend M64 brush. I'm also going to go in with this um, Bell, Bell and Argent um, lipstick that I got from my Ipsy. It's in the shade um, I'll Bring Dessert and I feel like it's going to go with this look really nicely. I know you're probably like, uh, no lip liner, that's bold. I'm a bold person. Okay, really like this. I feel like it's just like a pretty berry tone kind of goes with the whole eyeshadow look. So I'm also going to add a little eyeliner um, in my lash line, underneath my lash line is really what I should say, and then in the outer edge of my waterline. I've actually been using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Um, not sure why I have so much trouble with that word. But I'm going to go ahead and coat my top and lower lashes. That one's back. Yay. And then I'm also gonna really quickly go ahead and highlight the inner corners, um, my brow bone, and I guess I probably won't add any more highlight to my cheeks. I tend to go overboard. Actually, I'm gonna go um, mix the Vermeer and Primavera in this palette to go on my inner corners. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into tempura to highlight the problem. Okay, and we are uh, have completed the look. Super fun, dark. Not something I do frequently. Um, this lip is really, really bold for me, but I felt like it looked nice with the eyeshadow. Thank you for joining me today. I hope y'all had a wonderful day, and whenever you're watching, I hope your day continues to be great. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell if you want to be notified when I post, and be sure to go follow my social media and like this video. Bye!